I'm a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. So I'm gonna talk about ready, fire, aim. So this is something that a lot of people always say and entrepreneurs say, ready, fire, aim, right? I think the real reason that they say ready, fire, aim is because a lot of entrepreneurs along the way just don't do anything. And so if you don't do anything, you get no traction. So a lot of coaches and consultants started using this phrase, ready, fire, aim, because if you say ready, fire, aim, it's like, all right, man, just get it done. Get something done. Don't do nothing. Just do something. And so what happens though, is it creates this issue. So the entrepreneur from shooting and keeps them shooting a lot of blanks because they ready and they fire and then they fire and then they fire and they ready to fire and then they forget kind of one core thing. So you have this ready, fire, aim mindset and then you don't come back to do the one thing that's most important and that is focus. And I'll get to that in a second, but ready, fire, aim is going to have the, what happens is everyone comes out they get going, they get something done, they, they they get ready for it. They do one of two things. They get ready, and then they get ready again, and then they get ready again, and then they get ready again, and this person calls themselves a perfectionist, and so they never do anything, right? And then the other person, ready, kind of ready, and then just fires. And then the problem is they never come back and aim at what that target was when they miss it. And so they just keep firing until the next shiny object happens or comes about and distracts them. So in the entrepreneur world, you see a lot of people starting new businesses. And then next thing you know, and a month later, they're starting a different business. And what's kind of funny is you, you see these jokes online, right? One month, the guy's a crypto expert when crypto's hot. The next month, he's a, a, a loan expert. And then the next month, he's a... You know, he's all kinds of stuff, right? Marketing expert, whatever the hot thing is, because they just keep, they're really good at firing. They're just not really good at executing after that. So what happens and the reason a lot of businesses do this and the reason it's bad advice is because they don't do the one thing that I mentioned was come back and focus. So the key to all of this, the key to all of this and having success and why ready, fire, aim is not the right action. It needs to be ready, fire, focus. And what I mean by that is, yes, you got to get going. You, you're never, never, everything's not going to be perfect and ready to go. You're not always going to have something ready to roll. So you got to, you got to be ready. You got to get it ready. And then you got to fire because if you don't fire, you don't have no idea what you got. So this coffee company behind us, right? It's one of our brands, uh, Liberty Coffee. We're fueling your freedom. You should go check it out if you like coffee, high quality coffee at the right price. And, uh, but not everything's free except the first bag on us. But anyways, uh, Liberty, Liberty Coffee, we were ready. We fired. We missed the mark. So we got ready again and we made some adjustments and then we missed the mark. And then we came back and we went ahead and we got a little bit more focus, a little bit more dialed in, a little bit more into what we needed to do. And then now we had just, we're talking about how things were doing really well. So, uh, so what happened is now that we focused and we kept ready, fire, focus, ready, fire, focus, we kept doing that. And figuring out what we were doing wrong, what we were doing right, what what worked, what didn't, and then we got dialed in, and now we have some traction. We have some things happening. We have subscriptions coming in. We have sales coming in. We've got consistency starting to flow. The ideas of how can we expand are happening, right? So, if I would have just ready fire and then went on to the next project, ready fire, and then went on to the next project, ready fire, we wouldn't have learned all the lessons we've learned along the way. From the mistakes we made, but because we were able to stay focused and focused on where we're trying to go with this, it allowed us to break through the barriers, right? Because not everything's going to be a home run. Everyone thinks they're going to be ready, fire, millionaire. Not the case. It's ready, fire, screw things up, figure it out, do it again, screw it up, do it again, do it a little bit better than you did the time before, S still figure out what you did wrong, make adjustments, stay focused, do it a little better, and then go from there. So I want to talk a little bit about the ready, fire, aim process and why it needs to be. And if you're following this, this chaotic process of ready, fire, aim, what you need to do is really focus on the, get rid of that aim. It needs to be focused. You need to get ready, fire, and focus on the changes you can make going forward, right? And, and, and stop and you can call it aim too. If you don't want to call it focus, call it aim. But the problem is most people, when they ready fire, they never aim. They never come back to aim. They never come back to focus. And they just stay on that. Uh, so now, once again, I'm not perfect. Uh, these lessons and these, the, this uncommon advice that I like to give in these lives 
are from lessons learned over the years because I learned them the hard way and you don't need to. So that's why I'm doing these lives to kind of push that out there. But anyways, if you got questions on the ready uh, fire focus process or if you got a project that you're working on, you know, drop it to us. Let us know. We're happy to give you some advice and, and help you push through that barrier. So let's say you've ready and you fired and it just didn't work. Shoot us some info. Let us know about it. We can probably see some insights that you might not see to help you kind of get focused and start and re, re, to reload and then go ahead and fire again, right? So anyways, hope you enjoyed this live. Thank you for your time. I'm a marketing rebel, marketing rebel.